<laughs> hello, everyone. Wow, that is wrong. Hold on. Can we fix that? So, hello, everybody, and welcome back, pretties, to another episode of Jurassic World again. Uh, today, there has been, or is uh, coming, it's, oh, there's, there's lots of things coming. The, the thing has just been, like, the Chinese New Year. Um, is it might be the Lunia, it's the year of the pig. So, of course, what better way for Lunia to celebrate than with your money? <laughs> so, if you want to, you can buy a year of the pig pack for like 15 quid, giving you, I don't know what, like, uh, res? Uh, is, it, is it only res? Oh, but you get two of them though. You do get two of them, so hey, for 19 quid, you could, you'll get two piggies. Great, oh, fantastic. But that's not the reason why we're here today. No, 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 no. Um, I don't think it's been released. I'm not too sure. We can, I, I can have a check because I, I went in here. I know this is Cenozoic and it's not there because there is a new Cenozoic hybrid. Um, out at the moment and it is if we go into news and we go to here boom there it is a terrifying andrew sarkis glyptodon pig thing it looks horrendous <laughs> it doesn't look scary it's like some weird frankenstein abomination thing oh my god it looks like it's got the body of some sort of huge centipede millipede thing but the head of a a wolf it's the weirdest thing and i I don't know why they've decided to go for Also, we have another Indoraptor in incubation. So we're just going to speed that up because hoo fooey to saving books. Because this game's so cheap now, <laughs> it doesn't give you any. So I really shouldn't have done that. But for the video, you can see another Indoraptor. There you go. Level 10, 5,103 health and 2,658 attack. Oh, the claw. And eat some weird fleshy man of war thing. It's definitely not bone. It's more like rubber. So, that that's a really good dinosaur just to add to the roster. Um, and if we get... We just need 2,000 more, I think. Um, well, I'll say 1,981, 1, I think, more DNA-ish. 81? No, 91? I don't know. Probably, yeah, probably 81. Um, and then we can get... Oh, it's 11. <laughs> it's 100, yeah, 2,911, I think. Um, but, so, we... we I, I don't think um, I can get that yet, because if I could, it would be here in, in this list, even if I go to, like, super hybrid, or just hybrids in general. Well, maybe, technically not those ones. These hybrids. That's all we've got. We've got the Okapi looking thing, and we've got the Mammotherium. That's all we've got. Oh yeah, it does show them at their levels as well. Oh, that's interesting. So, that's a level 30, that's a level 20, that's a level 40, and that's a level 10. Oh, that's quite nice. Oh, I like it. But, uh, so, I have been, I did yesterday, I did so many missions. Uh, we've also got that turn tournament. Is it, is it even finished yet? Oh, it's got an hour. Where am I? Ah, yes, fantastic. I've already got the um, the super DNA for placing in a lot of the area. So, like, going all the way to Dominator League. Yeah, you can you can whack that out in an hour, I would say. <laughs> Finish tournament in Dominator League. So, now, what they've decided to do is scale the super DNA. That's, that's a big difference in this... Um, possibly even going forward because it always used to be the same super raptor amount dna for the same uh super um uh, monolophosaurus dna for the monostegatops now it seems like you get more super raptor dna because it costs more than you are getting the sarcosuchus dna because to get a sarcosuchus i think it's 1500 i think you need instead of like 4,000 for Indominus or 2,000 for Monostegatops. So you're going to unlock that quicker, but at the same time, you're not because they've decided to nerf down the amount of, um, what do you call it you have? The, um, the amount of DNA you get. So that's a bit of a shame. Um, is there anything in here worth it again? No, of course not. I mean, you could argue that that's worth it, but it's really not. That's the only one that's technically worth it for 79 DNA. I may as well. Go on, then. Oh, fine. I'll do it. Uh, so let's collect you. I don't... Is there a way to check how much coin you have in you? If I click... No, there's no... Wait, what? It didn't even collect it, though! 
Are you kidding me? <laughs> I forgot to because I placed it. Really? Uh, it's got 27 million in there. I think that is. Yes, 27 million coins it's collecting. And I can't use any of it. So, we have... Ooh, so, I think this is the new thing as well. We need this. Magisto Theorem. I, I've already got it. I don't think I've unlocked it. I think I got a lot when it was the draft battles, if you remember those. So, we, we probably have to do that. Let's have a look at the micro... Oh, no, this still gives you Monolophosaurus DNA. That's interesting, because in the last video, I think we won a pack, and it gave us uh, Monolophosaurus DNA again for Mono Stegotops. Uh, I could have a quick look at this. Oh, it's aquatic. Okay, so we could do that. Um, this is always super easy. So we'll do that and we'll do that. And we'll go in. And we'll go for a hit. So I hope you guys are enjoying um, the sort of new schedule. I mean, for those people who are watching those videos and this one. <laughs> um, so what I've decided to do is basically spend more time editing videos um, and taking a more relaxed approach to YouTube um, than stressing about recording everything and getting it all done and getting it out and then just not really being happy with the content I put out. So I miss a couple of days during the week, but on the weekend you get some strong videos. So you on the weekend you get stuff like the aisle and you got an unboxing. Like this past week I just did an unboxing. Um, and those two videos um, probably took about two days each. Um, be I mean, if I really, really wanted to, I could probably do them in one day. It would just have to be a full day of editing. Um, but the thing is, it's like, I, I, if, if I go into it thinking I've got to do this all, all today, then I just can't really be bothered. <laughs> Which makes sense because, like, why, why would you want to do something if you know it's going to be a hard slog? Um... And, and it's weird because as soon as it's done, I have like the moment where I set it public, I see loads of people's reactions and, and you get that little endorphin rush and then it's gone. You're, you're on to the next thing. So it's not like, you know, you've, you've done a business deal and you've just like, oh, that was amazing. Well, I don't have to work for ages. It's like the next day, no, you're doing something else. Um, ooh, oh, we got a VIP back as well. Ooh, I did. Look, you can see I've used all of these creatures. For, um, I had to do a VIP event. I had to do like five, se it was like an Asia event. It was, it was like three other things as well. I, I can't even remember. There was just so many. Is this, oh, we're going through all of them. We're going through Glacier. We're going to go through Aquatic and we're going to go through the land. So let's do the Glacier. It's such a shame because I have no strong level. Um, oh wait, what? I have Mammotheriums. Hold the phone. I have mammotheriums and I'm not using them. What's going on? Okay, let's let's do that. I'll, I'll fuse those guys. Um, or at least get them to level 10. I've got two of them. So, go to you. I mean, already that puts their levels up a load if I did want to use it. They're at level 1 to level 10. They're probably better now than uh, level 40 uh, legendaries. But... Um, do I want to fuse them? I think I do. I think it, it just makes more sense. And you know, for 120 bucks or 240 bucks or whatever it is, I'm, I'd rather have them now. Uh, just because we're, we're recording a video. If it wasn't recording a video, I wouldn't speed it up. But here we are. So there you go. That was 360 DNA, I think. Making a level 20. Yes! So now, even though oh, I could fuse these guys together to make a level 30, but if I did that... It would take so, like, this is the thing, there's a balance between your teams and what you've got to do. So if you have a really strong level dinosaur, uh, or creature in this case, it's going to take ages to buy back. You're going to have to wait for it. And there's, there's events every day in this game. So you need lots of creatures that are around about the same. Um, because, I mean, even if you look at my normal uh, dinosaur roster, Jurassic roster, um, it's mainly uh, like Metrophilon with 5,000 attack and then... Six ranks down, you've got something with 2,000 attacks, so... Uh, so we'll go into here, and we have become prepared! So, yeah, look at that, that's a good team. 2,000 attack, 2,000 attack, 1,300, 1,400, and 600. Pretty darn good. So, we need a Titanoboa to do this. Uh, we need to do three battles. So, one, two, three. Um, Titanoboa, uh, it is a little bit weak. What can we put in? Hyenodon? At level 20, it's still freaking good. If it was level 30, it'd be even better. 
So, tactic here is to go for one reserve right off the bat. Then a tiny little sp Oh, is it? Spotted kitty! No! Kitty with a spotted buddy. It was something like that. I can't remember from Jurassic Park Builder. Wow, those are the days. Uh, so, we want to go for two hits, then one block. Because I don't think uh, Phosphoracus... Is it Phosphoracus? I think it is. Or is it just called Terror Bird? No, Phosphoracus can kill us in, yeah, one hit. So, we'll do that. Uh, we may have to exit out here. Yeah, we're, we're probably going to have to exit out here. Let's not let's not joke hit ourselves here. And there comes the exit because he, he knows that two hits can kill me. Uh, I've only got three, he's got five, and he'd go for full on five. And Hyena Dawn would have its attack nerfed, taking it to only 300. So I definitely need to keep Titana Boa here. Definitely. Uh, so two. Uh, that's it. I mean, that's what he's going to go for no matter what I did. So two block four. Oh, two block four reserve. And he wasted a load on blocks. He's only got four. He has to go for three or higher to kill me. And he goes for three. So we could... Leave it there and extend ourselves quite a lot with Hyena Don. Because remember, we've only got 300 attacks, so that would be like five or six to kill it. And then we have to make sure. Well, we don't. I don't even know if that um, elephant can could probably kill us. It's pro it's level 188. Um, so one, two, three, uh, one block, and then three reserves. Ah, oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Serious? Three block. Okay, so what we need to do... Ooh, that was a nice shot of Titanoboa. What we need to do is go for four block, four reserves. And once we do that, um, we should be good. Because he's only got four. And, uh, unless he has five, please, on a five. Okay, so there's nothing he can do now. Hopefully he goes for four attack. Ah, even perfect. Okay, so we've definitely won. So one, two, three, four. Factor in the one, and then... Three reserve? May as well go for it. And he did go for the one block, so that's perfect. Um, probably has to go for two to kill us. Oh, no, only one, actually, even. So, Hyena Don will come in with 900 attack, is it? Does it? Do we get double the attack? Or 50%? 900 or 1,200? Oh, we get 50% extra attack. Okay, but we pretty much won here, because he only had a couple. So. He had to go for, like, two block to survive, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Rabies. No. And down it goes. It looked cute. Rip your face off. <laughs> ah, that's another 50. So, and in we go again. Ah, great goodness. That's good. That's really good. So we're going to go for uh, that, that, and the Thalamelius. And that leaves a lot of good. I know I'm going to go for one block here because he's going to switch. He's definitely going to switch to Mammoth. <clears throat> oh, Mammoth couldn't even kill me in one hit. Oh, Ooh, well, there you have it. I thought he would be able to. Oh, and he goes for that. That's really good, because now we can go for one block, one reserve. Knowing that we could survive. How t how big is this thing? Oh, my God. It makes a Mammoth look tiny. What is this, a tiny Russian Mammoth? Before they went extinct, they, when they started to uh, get smaller? Oh, possibly, possibly. Oh, I'm reading a book at the moment. Um, it's, it's about... Um, it's about paleontology and genetics, sort of. So how it's it's called your inner fish. Um, it took a while to get going, but it, it gets really interesting. You you have to be interested in like science and genetics in general just to even appreciate it, really. Um, but it's fascinating. Um, did you know that we have a gene, or all living creatures have a gene called Sonic Hedgehog? It's not a joke. It, the scientist that found this gene just called it Sonic Hedgehog because Sonic was popular at the time. <laughs> the whole world is run by nerds. It's fantastic. Oh, you think you can survive, Mr. Snake? Oh, you you might. You might even kill me. Oh, it's got two block. Uh, one, one, two, and then one, two, three, just in case he didn't block. Oh, he didn't block. We might be able to still survive here. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, he, he'd probably kill us. Yeah, he'd kill us. And then we'd be in some trouble. Um, because I think cave's good against, or cavern's good against planes. So that Thalamasilus or whatever it was we had would be very dead. Um, so he'd probably go for three. Yeah, perfect. Oh, did he need three to kill me? Oh, yeah, one, yeah, because it was only 1,500. -ish. So we'll switch him in, which, yeah, he's definitely weaker. And we'll just fodder him off for three reserve. Um, but yeah, it just... 
Like, th that gene, I haven't read the whole book. And sorry, I've just eaten lunch, so try not to burp. <laughs> um, and it's just about, like, how when you're developing, or everything, when everything develops, there's a certain gene, whether you're a fly, you're, you know, if, if all flies that are watching and listening, all sharks, um, you're a fly, a shark, a chicken, a human being, in development, there is a certain gene, and it goes back all the way to stuff like fish. Like, we've kept this gene. And it when it turns on, um, certain things happen. So you you have like fingers and it's it's it sort of makes those fingers look the way they do. And what they did was oh god the oh god these are oh this is not good. Really not good. Okay. Uh well we're gonna go for one reserve straight away. Um and what they did was they isolated the gene and then mess with it a little bit to see how it would affect the embryo. So instead of and, and the most amazing bit of research they did was take mouse Sonic Hedgehog DNA and put it in a skate, so or a stingray, depending on where you're from. I think I think a skate's a stingray. Um, and they put it in a little bead and they put it inside the embryo to see what would happen. Now, mice and skates are genetically very different. I mean, even just physically different. Um, so instead of a stingray just having lots of bones that come off the sides of it, all these um, cart cartilage, um, uh, what happened was that the stingray would actually start developing what appeared to be very um, basic limbs. Like the, the way the rods would, uh, they separated and they made four limbs instead of it just spreading throughout the whole body and making this, you know, the, like what you think a stingray is. And the the bits of the rods that were closest to the the marble or the bit of um, mouse uh, sonic DNA started to make what looked or resembled like fingers or, you know, they were different. They were different shaped. So, oh, it's just fascinating. I don't know, I, f I find that really interesting. But if you want to find out more, like, I haven't finished it. I haven't even got halfway through, but it's it's really interesting. <laughs> oh, no, you don't, son. You may throw rocks at me. Sticks and stones may break my bones, and then I'll be dead. But words can't hurt me. Um, but yeah, if, if you are interested, just look up Your Inner Fish, I think it's called. Um, if anybody's uh, interested in paleontology and just, just learning about genetics and where we come from. Um, I, I don't know, I just find it really interesting. Aha, yes, bam! Gaston is killed. I mean, well, did the killing. So he's definitely gonna attack me. Oh yeah, well, we're just gonna exit now because he's gonna kill me. Um, I feel like I need to switch in Mammotherium um, just to make sure that, well, we can survive one. It doesn't really make much of a difference. Mammotherium has more attack. Um, but saying that, we're still gonna be down to a thousand attack instead of 2,000. So I think what I'm going to do is switch out to Mammotherium and go for two block and because that 400 difference in attack between Gastornus and Mammotherium will make a difference. Um, he has to go for two to kill me. So, oh, there it is. There's the, there's the six. And then we would have lost, I think. We would have, we, we would have killed that thing. We wouldn't have killed the Mammoth. Uh, luckily, I think this is the last battle, I think. Because we've used all of the Mammothium. Yeah, that's right. Couldn't have got a worse matchup, to be honest. Everything that's... Like, it's, it's, it's interesting. Because you see this in this game. You have one dominant type. You have in the Jurassic tournaments or battles. You have lots of carnivores. In the aquatic... Oh, really? Fine, whatever. In the aquatics, you have loads of um, surface. And in the... Uh, the Cenozoic, you have lots of planes. But now, I just have loads of savanna. Savanna. Uh, creatures. Which is a bit weird. Uh, but maybe maybe that's the... Maybe the savanna's the new planes. Who knows? I'll go for that. Yes! You go for your block. Waste them. Oh, he's probably gonna attack for five. Yep. Yep. Actually. Huh. Huh. He would have killed me and had nothing left. Gastonus would have went for one attack. I could have went for three block, four is... I'd have to go for four block. 
four block, two reserve, and even then it would have been luck. So yeah, it, it's just safer to do this. If I lose this match right now, then it's kind of almost impossible to win because Gastonis has already... Oh, that was lucky. I put in the extra ones there. Um, Gastonis has, can't take one hit. So Mammoth would come in and go for like just as much attack as, pos uh, attack as possible. So he's going to go for... Oh, he couldn't have killed me there. He might not have went for it. Uh, and if he did go for full-on attack, I could maybe have killed him. But we'll play it safe and we'll win. We'll win anyway. So I need four attacks to kill him with Mammotherium. So I'm going to switch to, switch in Gastornis. Oh, there's the hit. Um, actually, can I go for it? One, two, three, four. And then if he blocks for four, I've lost. Well, if he blocks for five, I've lost. And there we have it, finally. Bam. Are you ready to see tiny legs do a big lift? <laughs> Just like crunch his pelvis. I don't even know how you do that. Anyway, on to the prize. We'll pass logic. Hopefully we get the card pack. I don't know how what the ratio is for it. I'm assuming it's pretty low. But for someone... Ooh, there was Megastotherium. Sarcastodon. And there you have it. So we've still got... We've still got the Glacier Shifts to do. We've still got this to do. So uh, Glacier Shifts. How hard is this? It's pretty darn hard. Uh, is there a day? It's two days to get that. And with... With this guy... Did it just clock over? Three days, exactly this moment. Okay, um, we'll do we'll do one of these battles. Um, so we need a good orthoc orthocanthus. Uh, well, a good cave. We need a good reef. Good reef. Um, haha, <laughs> funny joke. <laughs> and we'll just have Talosaur in, just because. Why not? So I'm gonna go for. I'm going to go for one reserve here, just because I can't be killed two hits from Trinicarium, and I can't be killed in one hit from a Hainosaur. And, yeah, there you go. So, pretty easy. Um, so now, I can't be killed in one hit, so I'll go for one block. And two reserves. See what he does. Oh! Oh, great, he's used all of his goes. Uh, and now is the time for you, Moon, to shine. So we'll go in and do three, kill it, and then one reserve. Um, and I don't think he has three attack. No, he has four, sorry. He does have three attack, so he can't kill me. And he swaps. Oh, he has two. He could kill me here. Ah, oh, doesn't. Fantastic. Well, tell you what, I'll ask him to call my bluff. And if he kills me, Orthocanthus comes in, kills Trinicarium, and then Talosaur is free to kill Hainosaur. And there you go. Perfect. That was really well played, actually. <laughs> Usually, I'm just I'm just so used to putting in low low creatures, one really good one, and just like re op closing, opening, closing, opening my game. Just because that way, I get to save as many of my good creatures for... Like, like I just get to do more battles, in other words. Because now that I've used Orthocanthus, Tylosaur, and New Moon in one battle, um, I can't use them for like a day. So if I was to just exit and open, exit and open, I could have done three battles with these guys um, because they're pretty uh, tough. So I may as well just go for Talosaur here because I know he doesn't stand a chance. Seven and... Rah! <laughs> Put it in the ground! Whoop 18,000. There you go. Definitely dead. Those are some big meaty flippers. Big meaty flippers! <laughs> uh, and that is that. So I'm going to end this... Oh, should we keep going? I mean, what can I... Can I? Hmm. I kind of can, but then I'm not. I don't think I stand much of a chance. I've still got two days on that. Let's do, let's do one of these. See what we can do. So, 1,300. That's actually down to this level. Yeah. So, we need a good herbivore. Well, technically, we just need... Yeah, a herbivore could do it. Um, we'll put in a Patasaurus just to get loads of reserves up and to get killed by Indominus. Then when it dies, we'll put in Pressor Suit just to kill Indominus. And then we're left up with two Flyers. So what could kill the two Flyers? Pretty much any carnival. So I'll, I'll go for Pritrodon. So my tactic here is to go for one reserve. He'll switch in Indominus. He probably won't attack. And even if he does, that's really good. Because that means I can go for... Um, ah, there we go. So then we're just going to go for all reserves here. We could have blocked. But I'd rather get him while the... Like the best way to do this game is to kill them while they don't have four. So he, he didn't even kill me in two hits. Oh, Patasaurus, you're beautiful. 
Um, yeah, beautiful baby, but I don't really use you. So we're gonna go for two hits. Wabam! Playing it like a boss. Although the the creatures I'm using are they they're similar to the ones I'm facing, but they're they're stronger. Let's not be honest. Let let's not doubt ourselves. They're, they're definitely stronger. Um, and you know you have the advantage by seeing what they're gonna put in. So you you know this that does help as well. Um, we'll go for one extra attack just in case he did block. Oh, he did! Fantastic. And just in case a Patasaur does die, Pritrodon could have picked it up. Um, sort of a failsafe. I actually expected a Patasaur to die to the two hits from a Dominus, but it's a it's a meaty tank, as all tanks are. <laughs> Um, we'll go for seven, and... Whoa! He just died! He saw seven, was like, I'll just fall over. <laughs> so that was quite easy. Uh, the next one... And they just get harder and harder, and... There's... Look at that Indoraptor level 10! Oh my god, it's beautiful. Tell you what I did do the other day, last night. I did the freaking Battle Stage Infinite for the first time ever. Things with like 5,000 attack, it was ridiculous. But finally, I did it. I did the impossible. Um... But yeah, guys, I'm just going to leave it here. It was a quick little video. I did want to show off this creature, but it doesn't exist yet. Um, but don't worry. As soon as it comes out, we'll cover it. And we'll see what kind of abomination it looks like. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Oh,